Vanilla Monsoon back here at ringside with my man Rambling Rowdy Richie Estrada and we've got the second semi-final match of the Fist Combat Tag Team Tournament going on right here with Love, the Legion of the Vegan Extremists, I don't know, I'm not sure what the E stands for. We've got the Vegan Superman, the Vegan Giant, and the Lois Green. If you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, Rocket Fly did advance to the finals. Congratulations to them. They get to heal up, rest up. They're going to have to heal up as much as they can, especially going up against possibly either True Grit, Too Tough, Rumble Tumble wrestlers, or Love. So we see the Vegan Giant there. Very scary dude. And Vegan Superman, we all know. I mean, don't let the cape fool you, ladies and gentlemen. He is just a tricky, tricky bastard. And now he's throwing lettuce. Had to go around. He's trying to get him to eat help. Well, I mean, that's one way to have a salad. The only way is to, you know, not eat it like that. Your XRT champion, ladies and gentlemen. The vegan super fan. Well, the crowd not very keen on the on the lettuce there. Would you be? Not that way, no. Lois Gray. I mean, you've done stand-up comedy. Has anybody ever thrown a tomato at you? Well, not in the sense of, uh... No, the answer's just no. <laughs> where, is he, where does he get that lettuce? If we're in a bar, you can't have outside alcohol. I'm guessing the outside food's a totally different thing. I think he just brings like a vegan park around everywhere. Well, we are in San Diego. There's tons and tons of farmers. And we hear the Johnny Cage playing. And that means only one thing. The roughest, toughest, baddest team in all the land. Coming down to the ring right now. I'm talking about Big Dick Hosshaw and Jesse James. You guys know him as True Grit. Yeah, talk about a couple of wrestlers who you do not want to take lightly. These guys do not fool around. They're not about playing games. As soon as they put that gear on, and as soon as it, that was a really bad idea. As soon as they put their gear oh. Like I was saying, as soon as they put their gear on, and as soon as they get in that ring, the word business doesn't even describe what these guys are all about. And the fact that Vegan Superman is dumb enough to throw lettuce at the grid, you might as well poke a lion. You might as well piss off a, a shark. That's exactly what you're gonna get with True Grit going to that ring. See, I, I think when Donald Trump was talking about those rough and tough hombres, he was talking about these two bad motherfuckers. I love you, Vanilla, but can we just not make this about Donald Trump? There oh, it is, there's the horns. Not making this about Cheeto Montuito. Oh, Jesus. Started. That whole different kind of debate commentary team. But True Grit. We're all the same side, Richie. We're all the same side. I know I know you might think that I, because I live in a rich mansion, and I've got 12 figures in my bank account, that I might be on that side, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm knee deep in cocaine right now. I have no idea. Just the knees, not the nose. It's probably good. It's probably good. At least one of us is kind of simple. <laughs> and there's Lois Green. Oh, it, Superman has something to say. Let me run it down for you, Richie. Vegan Superman says, hey, I got a match later tonight. I'm going to let Lois Green get in there for me. I don't think that was a very good idea. Well, Vegan Superman, he's always got a trick up his sleeve. That's, how, that's why he's been the XRT champion as long as he has. I'm sure she's just a ploy in whatever idea or whatever scheme he's got going on. I don't know that swimsuit's a great ploy in my visual action going on right now, Richie. And I'm not talking about Hoss Hall. I'm talking about Lois Green. Giant outside of the ring, thrown out by Big Dead. Uh -oh. the ring. What what the hell is she going for here? She's got a choke on Hoss Hog. She grabbed Jesse by the neck too. Got true grit, not looking impressed at all. Oh, oh no. Double forearms of the face. That might have hurt less if she had a stake in her life. 
Well, steak or no steak, this is not going to prepare for what's going to about to happen. Oh! God, no. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Referee wristband. Just, just call the match right now. Most great no. taking a powerful. Well, here, here comes Vegan Giant. Double stomp to the face. Vegan Giant doesn't have a prayer in the world. Yeah, if they were going to do that to Lois Crane, imagine what they're going to do to him. Oh. Rainmaker. What the kale? That was a good one. Rainmaker famous by Japanese legend Okada. Jesse James used it to his advantage, oh. and that was just a close line from hell by Big Dick Haas. There That's it is. It. One, two, three. Count to 3,554. Because True Grit is going to the finals against Rocket Fly here tonight at the Kensington Club. And holy shit, am I excited to see that match. True Grit, undefeated here in Fist Combat. They're going to go against what has arguably been one of the hottest, youngest tag teams in professional wrestling today. That's Rocket Fly. And that match is coming up tonight with our main event. Well, they didn't even break a sweat. And I'm a little bit worried for Rocket Fly because they put a hell of a match and put their bodies in torment. Grit didn't even bat an eye. And I'm really, really concerned for Rocket Fly. They better be very, very careful. And again, here comes the Vegan Superman. Yeah. Man, they just destroyed love. So tonight, tonight, I have faith. I have faith in my giant. I have faith in my Amazon. But you guys let me down. Oh. You know what? You said you guys let me down tonight. You guys are going to the back for this next part. This time, it's all about me. I don't need you guys in my corner. Oh, being a superman says, down. I don't need you guys. It's all about me tonight. Shit. Strong words by a guy who doesn't eat meat. Somebody needs to shove a hot dog or a hamburger up that guy's head. Next our two champion, not a jam packed hot crowd here at the Kensington Club in beautiful San Diego, California. The crowd not having vegan superfly. At all, not embracing the man. He is a vegan super fly. Somebody's got swat his ass. There's <laughs> our announcer, Ryan Shores. The best ring announcer in the history of wrestling. Now, if you idiots would shut up so I can speak for a second. They're not letting him speak. Vegan Superman for that XRT title. Thank God you're here. 
Also, I mean, uh, this is a side note, but congratulations to Joey Ryan. If you haven't been seeing Glow on Netflix, Joey Ryan makes a cameo in that series. Mr. Monopoly. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Glow just got picked up for season two. I can't wait to see if Mr. Monopoly's going to be in there. I hope so. You know, I was talking to Joey earlier and uh, gradually on being on Glow. Very, very nice guy. Shook my hand and said, hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Joey Ryan, he's the king of sleeves, king of song style, but let's not forget, he's also a class act. <laughs> hey, you know, he's one of those guys out there that defends the art of professional wrestling. Professional wrestling can once was seen as a contest between brutes to figure out who is the biggest, baddest, toughest motherfucker on the planet. That's not what wrestling is these days. There's so many different promotions that highlight and showcase different types of wrestling. Joey has been somebody who has not only taken advantage of that, but also comes to the forefront to defend professional wrestling, and he got a little for that. Yeah, and professional wrestling, they say you gotta put your gimmick over, and Joey Ryan has... One of the most over genitalia that we've ever seen in professional wrestling. Oh, he's got the oil. The most prominent dick. He's got the oil. What about, is it too graphic? Is that why we're looking at Oh, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Get that baby oil in there, baby. And you can hear the women scream. And they're chanting here, suck his, or touch his dick, not suck his dick. Well, I mean, that's also optional. I don't think that's vegan, though. They won't allow that here in public. <laughs> well, Vegan they let us stress the bodies a lot here. Right? Yeah. Vegan Superman was throwing lettuce. I wonder if Joey's about to toss salad. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Get this guy a job on Saturday Night Live. Uh, that one was for you, Joey. Vegan Superman trying to uh, compare muscles. This isn't Scott Steiner Triple H. You guys aren't comparing uh, muscles here, guys. Vegan Superman, definitely not Scott Steiner. More like Scott Steiner. There it is. He's going to wear that stupid cape on there. What the hell? You were putting the cape over earlier, Richie. Was I really? It just it looks cool. Well, there's a dollar. Oh, no. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Who's the man with the plan here? I, uh, you know what? I take back what I said about the cape. Looks like some of the women love it. I, I apologize. I mean, cat my statement from earlier. Oh, here Who it wants is. to blow pop? I wonder if Joey has a deal with the ring pop company. No, you know what? Honestly, oh, hey. here we go. And there it is. <laughs> then we got a very eager fan. She was hella eager. She was ready to put more than that blow pop in her mouth, Richie. I could tell by the look in her eyes. She did just spit out some of the vegan man's salad just to make room for the blow pop. I don't blame her. All right, well, we got a test of uh, looks and muscles and... Genitalia salad and pops. Now it's time to I have the actual match. I, I'm more interested in watching these guys fuck with the crowd. <laughs> well, no. You can Superman coming with the attack right off the bat here. Yeah, he's still got that dollar shoved up in his trunks. And I guess he's gonna. I don't know if the uh, the cape gives him any powers. Whatever it is, he's gonna keep it on. But you also gotta wonder if that's gonna be a detriment to him too. Joey Ryan, if he's smart, he can just wrap that uh, cape around him and. Kind of choke him out. I met a two-year-old last week who was wearing a cape. And thought, he thought, the two-year-old thought that the cape gave him superpowers. And I'm willing to bet that's the same feeling that, that the vegan superman has. Well, Joey Ryan Joey's got dollar. that dollar. <laughs> now it's in his underwear. That belongs to him. He can sleaze. <laughs> He's just got that moment. This, You know what? This is a fun match. But let's also not uh, take these two guys for granted. Very serious competitors. Give this uh, match a couple more minutes. We'll be going at it for reals. Time to drop. What? <laughs> Vegas uh, Superman didn't do his, his homework there. That is the atomic drop from the steel dick of Joey Ryan. Indestructible. Neck breaker. And that one, that one hurt Joey for sure. Look, he's taking off the cape. Superman doesn't want that cape anymore. Yeah, that, that is going to be a disadvantage. Oh, he's there. There he is. Uh, who knew that was coming? Yeah, I was talking that Joey could use it, but instead, vegan Superman. I'm not Miss Cleo or anything, but I can see the future, I feel like. Yeah, and again, I don't agree with vegan Superman's tactics, but it has been working for him, I guess. All right, hot cape. Deep, deep trouble again, ladies and gentlemen. There are no rules. He's Ref got can't that, do anything. He's got that cape choking. Ref no holds barred. Yeah, let's remind him. What are the rules here? Because there, there are a couple. However, 
No count outs. No holds barred. No strikes barred. The only way the disqualification can, uh, disqualification can happen is if you do not break the hold on a rope break for submissions. Other than that, pinfall submissions, knockouts, that's about it. That's how you win these matches here. Everything else goes, Richie. Yeah, Joey fighting back, trying to get away from that ch uh, that cape chokehold. You get Superman still holding on with that one hand. Oh, let's go. He's wearing it like a scarf, man. Oh, I like, I like what you did there. Thank you, yeah. Oh, Jericho. <laughs> you might get written on the list for that one. I'm uh -oh. not sure. Two count. Barely. Wasn't enough. Vegan Superman's going to have to do more than just the flying forearm. Boy Ryan. Very, uh -oh. very strong when he needs to be. I don't know if you see this, Richie. Hanging out there by the ring post. Lois Grain. She came back out the ringside. I don't know what she's out here for, but I tell you, it's probably not to help Joey Ryan. Yeah, just a couple minutes ago, we saw Love get, I mean, pretty much squashed by True Grit. Deacon Superman told them to get out of the There's ring. There's not a better back. way to describe that, Richie. They just got beat up from the feet up. We see Joey Ryan beating up Deacon Superman. There's a shot to the knee. Low screen. She really needs to be careful out there. Ryan, blocking what well, might be a suplex. So they're fighting back. Hit him in the gut. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, nope. Let's go for that suplex. Jimmy Ryan with the punches. Every whip. And he gets Reverse. a better versus. Yep. Knee to the gut. He got him with the suplex that time. Is he going to go for the pin? He's got to. What? Two and... Nope. Not enough to put Joey away. Vegan Superman thought that was three. It's going to take more than just a suplex, Vegan Superman, to put away the King of Dawn style. Oh, he also got the Vegan Giant out there. His team is back out there. Oh, oh yes. Lois Grain and a, the Vegan Giant out there laying it on Joey Ryan. This is what I understand about the Vegan Superman. If he's so confident in his in-ring ability, why does he need help from his cronies? More help the better. It's better in numbers, baby. Come on, Richie. You're, you're Mexican. Don't you know a thing or two about gangs? Well, I mean, in a past life. Vegan Superman, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ch uh, chokehold. Front face like might Front be a chokehold. I'm not sure. Chokehold would be illegal in any other promotion but this combat. I think it's a good opportunity to remind you guys to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at this combat TV as these two. Funkin' heads there. Oh, he hit him in the dick, and that rev Joey up. He woke up the sleeping giant there, and yes, I'm talking about Joey's penis. So the dollar's still hanging from his trunks. I guess there's not, uh, no room in there. Big Superman getting back at it. Double A spine buster, and there's a pin. One, two, and no. Oh. Joey Ryan, a millisecond away from me. Yeah, Art Anderson in the crowd. Again, he's already been a two-time Fist Combat Champion. Yeah, hey, he wins this title. All he's got to do is get the TV title and the tag title. He's a fucking Grand Slam Champion. Super, oh, he missed the Super Kick. Superman. He has Joey Ryan Days. Oh! Around the world from Superman 1. Two and that's it. No! Oh! Two count. Says referee, the biggest Alex. Bowtie Alex. Bowtie Alex. Joey Ryan kicked out of that two count. Vegan Superman cannot believe it. He needs to stop wasting time and complaining. Go back at your opponent. Joey Ryan's on his feet. Big back elbow. What's he doing now? How many of those does he have in there? Oh, my oh God. no! <laughs> Disgusting! It's another blow pop and a super kick. And a super kick to make the Young Bucks proud. But Vegan Giant is coming in the ring. Right. Oh! He made him grab his dick. Here he goes. He, this is the dick plex. The U-Porn plex. There goes Lois Grain going for a choke slam. She tried it on True Grit. It wasn't oh. effective. No, 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 no. Uh, I think she's gonna like this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Yeah! He's poking up! He's powering up! I don't know if that's worse than the power bomb that Lois Green got by True Grit, but whatever the case, that had to break some fingers. 
Lil's great rolling out of the ring. I think, what, I think the last we've seen of her. What's he? What's the being Superman got over? He's got something over there. Looks like he's, he's putting something on his hand. It, it, that, that's a Sako. A Mr. That, Sako. That's a Super Sako. That's a vegan Super Sako. Is he going for the big oh. <laughs> Superman punch? And that's not enough. That's that not, is enough not enough. Way. Super Sako. Oh man. I hope you don't get uh, any complaints from McFoley's lawyers. Well, I mean, he's even got a cape too. Look at that. He's a, the vegan Super Sako. Oh, 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 he went to low blow him. That didn't help. With Joey's steel dick. Yeah, talk about the man of steel. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, Super Sako grabbed onto the dick. Talk about a sock and cock connection. There it is right there, <laughs> Richie. That's why we pay you the big bucks. And he rolls him on his back. The you poor plex. And what's Joey going for here? He's got to be looking to finish the match. Well, he's, he's stalking his opponent. What is he doing? Is he gonna super kick the? Oh, super, super kick, kick, the, kick the Sako! Oh my God! Lois Gray, what is she coming back in the ring? Like she threw something in there. What is that? Is that lotion? Yeah, it's lotion. I don't know what it is, but if anyone loves lotion, it's Joey Ryan. Oh, look at that! And uh, oh, oh my God! Whoa! He's got that extra lotion. Oh boy. Wait, what's going on? Joey Ryan's not. Wait, what's happening? He, wait. Oh! Wait, that's, what? That's anti dick cream! That's anti dick cream! That cream takes off the fucking power of his dick! They're all! His dick is vulnerable! There's no more force field over his dick! Being it Superman putting. Oh my oh. god! Oh, no, no, no! One, two, and nine! Anti-dick cream. Oh my god. The innovation of the vegan Superman. I tell you what, love him or hate him. Vegan Superman, one of the most intelligent wrestlers here. Keeps his undefeated streak going at this. Holy shit, Richie. What do you think about that? Well, I think I'm noticing a pattern here with Vegan Superman. The last couple of matches we've seen him win, ladies and gentlemen, it's been low blow after low blow after low blow. It doesn't look like Vegan Superman can win any other way unless it involves cheating. Kind of makes me a little bit sick. Wipe that off your hand. Well, Richie, my old coach told me, if he ain't cheating, he ain't trying. We'll be right back with our next match right after this.